Welcome fellow indie players to Indie Games for Fun and welcome back to the Halls of Torment. What a better time to play this awesome game when you know the Devil 4 Season 1 is out and everything turns into the shitter because they don't know what they do about their game and everyone's pissed. And in this case I just cannot be more happier that I not play this game, I'm not going to buy this game, instead I have a really awesome $4 game that can imitate basically everything that we love and loved about the Devil franchise. So yeah, we played this game a while back, uh, we played the prelude version, checked out all the free classes, but there's a fourth one, because now the early access version of Halls of Torment is out, and today I'd like to showcase to you the Cleric, which is... It's just an insanely fun character to play and I'm going to blast a, you know, holy aura build with some cone and attack speed bonuses and you can see how the cleric basically erases the full map, so it's just tons of fun. And you know, the audio slurring is still going on, so I'm going to replace it with some spooky music. But without further ado, let's just go and uh, check out. I do have some items, so I'd like to showcase this to you. I have the Wind Crown, which is 1% uh, attack speed for 5 seconds for each killed enemy, which is going to be great. We have the base attack damage increasing ring, not the second one. We have uh, extra damage for each missing health. We also have some attack speed some health capacity defense and when we get hit we drop 10 spikes on the ground which deals 100 damage for like 4 seconds and cannot be blocked. I have a few items, uh, no I do not have any items that I'd like to you know recover. So we are going to go to the haunted caverns and uh, I will show you the, the really cool stuff what is happening. My favorite stuff about uh, the cleric is that the auto attack is uh, getting you know split between the targets and now we're pretty lucky because we are going to start with a really nice ability so ring blades is a fairly new one so throw blades left and right in alteration blades act like boomerangs passing the character and then flying off screen multi it increases the frequency of thrown blades now we are not going to do this we are going to go with the trusty lightning strike Strikes random enemies with lightning and stun surrounding enemies around the target. Hit enemies get electrified. So stun is going to be a really cool part of the build because we are going to stun them into my aura and everything's going to be great. So let's start with the lightning one. So as you can see, uh, my damage is pretty big and if I just for example, let's start with uh, movement speed. So if I hit multiple targets, it's going to get you know divided between them but if I hit a single target the damage is going to be you know dealt fully to that uh, one target which is extremely extremely great so collateral damage is what we are going to boost and quick hands but collateral damage because area and cone size is uh, getting bigger so when we have the aura you will see how big uh, it is going to be and how fun will this be to play uh, yes so quick hands also range is a great one so because the auto attack is you know having a cool cool range but you know, if we can just give some extra to it well it is just going to be tons of fun and you know I said that not going to be many negative negative things or many criticism about other games uh, in the channel let's increase the range for a quick second but you know when stuff like this happening and basically this game has everything that we loved about those specific games from the first episode from the second one and i would say from the third one and you know when they have this like complete dog shit excuse that how they balance their game and why they do this and this and this and this and you know someone who has like a little knowledge how game development works we are going to increase the main damage the main weapon damage because it's plus 20 percent 
Well, it's pretty obvious that you can see what's the trend with these and how they, you know, quote unquote balance the game out of their spreadsheets without even playing, without even testing. You know, as a game tester, I, you know, as a person, I rarely say something that, okay, that offends me personally because I had nothing to do with this, of course. You know, I do not work for them. I do not play the game, I do not care, but I watch a lot of, uh, you know, content creators who love this game, have great ideas because they, you know, uh, live and die by these games, and they just, they just won't listen, because they think that, dude, this is our game, we know what we're going to do with it, you don't know anything, because, you know, we are the devs and you are just the person who makes this game possible because you play, pay for it, but don't forget, this is our game. So you are going to enjoy what we give you because you are obliged to enjoy. No, that's not the case. That's not the case. And this is one of the biggest, uh, you know, the biggest reasons uh, I changed to indie games. Wow, Bloodstained Pages. I haven't found this one before. The trails of blood led us into the darkness where two morbid shrines awaited. Each of them damned a sacrifice in exchange for a fragment of a powerful token. The token of pain which betrayed its old master and would yield us the power to finally end this atrocious reign. Okay. So pretty nice similarities to the first devil game which I really loved and I have fond memories about because my great grandmother gave it to me uh, to Christmas when I was like, I don't know, eight or something. And I was pretty shocked that uh, she would even know what what is this. And, you know, she just picked it uh, because of the, you know, the cover art. And uh, I do remember that the Diablo 1 cover art features Diablo himself. So, uh, great job, uh, you know, great grandma, I miss you. So, um, the thing is that... Um, now we have the aura, which is a blasty one, so let's see how it works. So you know, I, I am not uh, attacking them, and the aura just kills them and uh, does insane amount of damage. So you know, wh where you have this, where you have this uh, mentality that, dude, this is our game, we know what's good for you, you do not know, or you do think you know what's good for you, but uh, that's not the thing, so screw you attack speed um, and you know when the game is ah, it doesn't have it did not have a really solid foundation let's start with that because you know as I mentioned I do not play the game I never will be never going to play that game ever I'm never going to install anything on my computer or phone or whatever that has to do anything with you know uh, snowy rain icy rain uh, but you know the thing is that I do love content creators who play this game and play tons of ARPGs have great you know understanding of these games uh, movement speed and they you know they address the problems immediately A B C D E F G problems like to even even until to Z play for like 333 minutes yes okay I really hope that there's an achievement to play like 666 minutes and in that's the real one I'm going to screenshot it and put it on I don't know the banner of the channel or something because this is just really cool I don't think that we need base health because we're pretty well off so I would say critical damage so when they when they address the problems and they they can you know clearly point out that okay this is this is what not goes really well with the game how about changing this a little okay this is not this is a complete dog shit thing why why did you you know think that this is going to be even enjoyable or it doesn't have anything to do with the mechanics game wise it's basically a placeholder no one uses it it's you know clearly states that you don't know your own game 10% damage and and you know the season one comes out and the patch rolls out and everyone is just you know reading the patch notes and it is just basically tweaking the numbers so someone 
Uh, okay, okay, so I don't want to be rude because, you know, I don't work there. I never will be. Uh, let's uh, increase the range and the damage of the main weapon, which is in this case. Just look at this. Look at this erasing. Like, da -da, da -da, it's just insanely great. Insanely great. Never been a big, you know, fan of clerics uh, for an obvious reason, of course. But this, in this game, cleric is my current favorite. I would say pickup range. So, okay, so really soon we're going to go to get the hand, the big hand that uh, draws in all the XP, you know, crystals that we left on the floor laying. And uh, we will get some really cool levels. So, you know what? Let's just move to that direction because since we have more damage since we have the the aura that we've been looking for well um we do not need anything else basically we get a third ability uh somewhere like around i don't know 10 minutes in gameplay or whatever but what we needed is the aura and the attack speed and the cone uh, increasing. Of, of course the main damage is uh, really really great because we are doing more damage with every single hit but uh, you know the cone and the, the aura is the main one. So let's see main damage I mean uh, you know uh, single target damage and this is a boss I like to remind you this is a boss and like one two three oh no and one two three yeah see that was that was the boss with cleric. Pretty insane pretty insane. Uh, base crit chance, uh, necromancer, necromancer, necromancer is someone who's, I don't know, tell me who's a necromancer, please, that was like a Freudian slip, demonic bound, so necromancer's clutch is like, a, every uh, 15 seconds you summon a skeleton to fight for you, they will perish after a set time, but their life force can be extended, can handle five summons at a time. See, classic necromancer. Demonic bond, every five seconds you summon an imp to fight by your side, they will be gone after a set of time, uh, which can be extended. Five summons can be handled at the same time, or base crit. You know, I'd like to do some blasphemous things since we are playing this awesome game. So I would go with the necromancer's clutch and uh, we're going to summon some cool skeletons while we are clearly holy holy beings but you know that's how life uh, works i guess okay so now the cone size increased we had the skeletons uh, doing the great stuff let's go and get the hand so we will get some cool 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 experience points so back to the topic so they clearly you know crunched crunched some numbers here and there and i don't want to you know diss on someone who did this because it's their job and you know someone maybe a higher up told him that oh okay somebody's complaining about that uh, some characters are too too you know brutal so how about uh you know just tweak that comma somewhere the point just you know slide it somewhere there here and there and everyone's going to be really really happy and you know i just you know dove dive dove dive no that's not a word deep though into the the whole matter of uh, how people are receiving this uh, season one patch and everyone was just <laughs> furious basically furious okay there were people defending the game because they spent tons of money on a uh, title and you know they want to justify this the dude I spent a lot of money I don't want to feel ridiculed because you know that was my my own uh, decision i know what what i do with my money and completely great i know the same this is why i buy indie titles for like around five ten fifteen dollars and enjoy the heck out of them because they are extremely great they crafted with care they don't care about cash grab they don't care about random you know, psychological bullying into buying battle passes and other shitty stuff and now we're getting the XP that we already, you know, uh, got so we just did not collect it. So, you know, let's just wait for the sweet, sweet experience that is uh, going to fill in too. 
And I have to remind you that this game is currently in early access. And the early access version has like full, full gameplay loops, full stuff that you can complete, you can enjoy, you don't have to buy anything else to do that, you don't have to do anything else to do that. Just buy the game on Steam, four dollars, you know, support the dev team who's pretty pretty enthusiastic about the game. I saw some, you know, live streams and uh, dev uh, updates and they clearly know what they want to do. They clearly know what other people enjoy about these types of games. And okay, I know that you can say that IG, that's, you know, that's a random horde survival game that uh, borrowed elements from our beloved ARPGs that we loved. And you know, just you are just running around in a map, killing tons of enemies, uh, getting loot and killing bosses. And there's no no story. Or only only small amount of stories uh, while you interact with items. And yeah, but isn't ARPGs like this? Of course, I know extended like skill trees, like the PoE or Last Epoch you know other great stuff that you can synergize uh, level more because if you die uh, your character here is just you know getting erased and you have to start again but it's just basically you know hardcore ARPG if you if you will maybe I'm you know kind of far-fetched analogy but I think that Holes of Torment does a much better job that differentiating the game's style and the whole understanding of the game mechanics and boiling down everything that everyone, most of most of everyone, is enjoying in an ARPG. That you have a character, you level up pretty fast at the beginning, you get tons of experience, you kill hordes of enemies, and after a specific time, you face bosses who will drop good stuff for you that you can increase you can insert into your build that will increase your chance of survival and you have like an extra ability a synergy a combo of whatever so you know let me know if i am just you know crazy or trying to jump on the you know the hype train of holes of torment but i have to remind you i played holes of torment before basically any big youtuber or any creator did it because i search for indie games on you know steam and this is this is my hobby this is my channel all about i try indie games as soon as possible if they you know in like demo or early access or or prelude or something whatever i install it and if i dig it like for a few minutes i make a video about it because i love to see that more people pick it up so choose an ability the third one we are going to have which is punitive light emits an additional magic attack that can apply fragile and affection to all enemies i haven't been able to get this so we are going to check out punitive light how this works oh okay so this is just an extra kind of like an extension of the of the radiant aura which is you know, by by design, it's just insanely good. Goes really well with the cleric, and now it just got some extension to it. So see, we have the base build, we have the base skill that we are using with our with our main attack, and now we got the chance to make it a bit better, isn't it? You know, the whole core game loop of ARPGs without any random stuff that you have to do, because I think it is. And of course, there are different iterations of how gay RPGs play. Uh, we get some plus main attack stuff. But in essence, Halls of Torment captures the great ARPG playstyle and all the stuff we like about that. Killing monsters, getting loot, getting stronger and try to survive. If you play on like hardcore, if you don't, well, you will just respawn. But that's, you know, that's another factor that this game does not include but that's not a problem because uh, most of the RPG elements are still getting included in the game and the game has a really easily distinct distinguishable really hard word 
art style, gameplay style, mechanics and everything. And this is my other problem but uh, you know the devil for if you check the game look at the art style it's just not really easily so distinguishable yeah it's a great looking ARPG it's a modern one but I can see like I can see like two other ones that pretty similar to that and you know okay they just you know enhance the dark filter that they you know turned down the what's the word the saturation or turned up the saturation and something one just got turned down and here you go you know the, the dark filter is uh, being installed on the game and it's cool because you know they said that they are going to go back to the dark roots of the game and everything's going to be great but ah, uh, not really I mean if you can fool someone with that good luck enjoy the game but you know stop trying to defend your purchase stop trying to defend a game that is clearly not that uh, you know it should be and it could be much 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 better if the company would just you know simply listen to people who play these games as their lives as their you know main choice of uh, you know gameplay style and game type of game genre that they enjoy and they do understand the math behind this they do understand the synergies behind this and they do understand why ARPG, ARPG, RPGs are working or not and you know just to summarize this they basically made the game slower they uh, added extra stuff while other stuff clearly doesn't work it's broken it's one of the main elements of the game which is resistance is and they just don't do anything if you played the devil 2 which i loved 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 f I fond memories playing it with my friends with the i, I tried resurrected uh, not officially, because as I mentioned, I will not give money to, you know, Icy Rain ever again. So I tried a mishmashed version of Resurrected. And, you know, it just felt like, dude, this game is 20 years old. And this is just extremely great, extremely great. Although, just, you know, really quickly. Blood Soaked Shirt. Killing an enemy has a 3% chance to give you one health point pretty great uh, Elven slippers increase block strength by moving building up sorry builds up by move distance block strength is limited to 10 movement speed buffs increase the cap standing still removes the bonus and we are barely standing still so you know let's go with uh, the Elven slippers uh, so you know the resistances are not working and you know the mishmashed version of resurrected is just insane insanely great like you know brings bringing back old great memories about the game how how it worked how, what we liked about it and of course you know the the inventory managing stuff as a small mini game inserted into the main game it's getting tiresome sometimes but you know you just then take a little uh, you know break from the game and then you will just jump into it and you will enjoy it although i hate i hate desert maps and the act 2 is just still something that i uh you know think back with like shiver in my spines because it's just so sinister so annoyingly annoyingly deadly and it's just it's just really really great and even as I mentioned, I, I watch uh, content creators who talk about Diablo 4. Oh, I gave it away. We, had, we were talking about Diablo 4 all, all, all along. So yeah, they talk about the Devil 4. And uh, one of the... I wouldn't say one of the biggest, but pretty big content creator uh, made a really well-established video about what's the problem with uh, the newest iteration of the Devil. And everyone got pissed and, you know, start to threaten him and, you know, if you haven't played this far into the game with like this and this and this and this, uh, your your criticism is basically can be dismissed in one second because this is the when the game starts normally. I know, so okay, I understand. So you have to suffer through a game which is not enjoyable, it's uh, dog shit. Uh, without you know a use of a better word and they still say that's pretty okay okay so the first few hours 
The first few levels are pretty enjoyable of the game, and then you will have to suffer eternally until you reach level something, because from that on, the game is going to be enjoyable. No, no, that's not a really good game design. Someone who works in gaming, that's uh, that's really bad. If we if we do the same, uh, no one is going to. No one would buy our games, and uh, I lost. I would lost my job because there are like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of games, like every single week coming out that you can choose. I don't know if I would just start to play one game every day that comes out I would still have tons of game that I haven't touched when I like 99 years old so yeah but the thing is uh, he mentioned that there is a specific mod for the first you know the first devil which uh, makes the game pretty similar to the second one, like inventory management, all the all level up 500 times, great one. Uh, you know what, uh, base health and regeneration. Uh, they modded the second game, most of the second game, into the first game. And I know that it's not an indie game, but you know, basically back in the day, I would say, you know, Ice Storm North was pretty indie-ish, indie-ish, if we can, if we can say that when they, when they played, played and made the devil one. So I was really, really thinking about it. I love that game and there's a mod that makes it similar to the second one that I loved a bit more. So maybe I'm going to, you know, uh, showcase it on the channel. Not sure. You know, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a modded the, you know the devil one that pretty similar to the devil two and uh, we'll have like fun and uh, play the game so here's a boss okay three hits okay dragon's brass astromers orb or arcane splinters i like astromers orb because they spin around like summon a metal orb that circles around the player and damage enemies uh, orbs are indestructible and permanent or speed increases with movement speed which we love and here in the channel, movement speed is basically everything. So that was a great choice. I would say duration, because channeling increases the duration of the aura, which we benefit from a lot. So yeah, maybe I'm going to check out the, uh, you know, the Devil one modded into like Devil 2 with many ways, and uh, we will have some fun and talk about the game. But you know, back to the topic, and uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of dizzy. It's going to be a, a dizzy episode, but in the background you can see, you know, what is the reason, the, the whole reason of this video is that how the cleric works in Halls of Torment, and it's just fun, 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 fun. So to see that I have this like awesome EOE aura that does damage, and you know, I just go around and. Uh, a total of 50 elite enemies. Great one. Let's increase the pickup range. And what we are trying to get is like uh, uh, the, the Dark Splinter shoots short range projectiles, Dragon's Breast. Yes, let's go with Dragon's Breast because Dragon's Breast kind of works like in a similar fashion that the main attack of our character. So, movement speed, base attack. Yes, please. And we should like you know go and check to s check to get like a hand where, where we can get some cool uh, XP that we left there. Just a pretty quick second. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, my throat is uh, uh, you know it needs to be exercised because uh, I haven't talked that much uh, in a while. So let's go and try to you know send up one item that we got because uh, the cool thing in this game is if you get an item that you really like you just go and uh, send it back uh, with the wheel and uh, and with the with the wheel as uh, is a wheel wheel is it a wheel yeah it's a fountain wheel it's a wheel so with the wheel you can send it back to the camp and you can use it with your other characters because otherwise if you don't do it and you can just send send back one item per run which is a, a really cool restriction in my opinion 
makes you, you know, play the game more and get uh, the, the items more and send it back to the camp. So when you send it back, you can use it with your other characters uh, f on, a fu on future runs, but if you don't do it, well, uh, you just don't have it anymore. Which is kind of a bummer, but it's totally understandable, because if you could just, you know, send back all the items with one lucky run, you can break the whole economics of the game, so, well, no, that's that's not just uh, how it works. So we're trying to fight our way back to the, the wheel, and uh, we will we will get it uh, sent up back. Not sure which one, but uh, but we will see. Oh, here's the hand, yes. Yes, so look at this. This is one of the best things in this game. Like, you, we just stand there, and the XP gems are just flowing into our characters from every direction. We get a bunch of levels that we, you know, already worked for, because we killed those enemies. We just, you know, we just haven't picked up the, the shards yet. And it's just so, so, so satisfying. Duration. And the funniest thing is that if you buy like a $4, uh, you know, indie game that was uh, crafted with care and uh, consideration and all the great stuff and, you know, the, 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 you know, the scope, the scope of the game and what's in the scope of the game is to have fun, to have many, many hours of fun without exploiting everyone exploiting their time, exploiting their patience, exploiting their wallets, exploiting bullying them into buying random stuff that they don't need. And this shows really, really nicely how the game plays because the main goal, the main reason of the game is to play and to have fun because you already paid for the title that you have. And I do like, uh, you know, live service games played many of them I am not playing most of them uh, I'm not sure Last Epoch is live service because it has like uh, you know multiplayer I'm not sure I'm not going to say if it is or not I like live service games but they are getting most more and more predatory and you know I just don't have time for this thank you very much when you die the seal breaks and revives you with 50% uh, of your maximum health pretty potent item but I would say blood soaked shirt is a great one so I you know just change it because if we kill enemies uh, we can get back like nice amount of uh, HP as you can see oh and also there's another hand but uh, we kind of got you know derailed from the from the place where we've been going originally attack speed yes please Let's see Tons of XP. I'm just going to get the hand because I don't want to waste it. Uh, not too many stuff is getting drawn to us, but never mind. Maybe we just, you know, could have come back later. But uh, we only have like seven, seven minutes until the end. So I was able only to complete this level once, and it was with the cleric. And I really hope that is going to be the same thing with now. But uh, you know what? With the block. Uh, Necromancer, the Necromancer's Clutch, killing an enemy, you know what, I'm just going to uh, retrieve the the blood soaked one, because we do not have it uh, back in camp, so, you know, I just send it back that, uh, thanks to that, uh, my future runs, uh, my other characters can use it, and uh, it will be a fun one. So what I really like about this uh, game mode is that we clearly have a timer and uh, timers are, are great because it uh, they can give you like a nice, uh, mm, I don't know how to say, you know, like you have a ni nice amount of uh, time you can take into consideration like, okay, I have like half an hour to play because for many, many reasons, and you know, I just wanted want to complete a run in Halls of Torment. You know, it takes maximum half an hour. I do have half an hour, so everything is going to be great. You know, if you die before half an hour, well, that's that's a bummer, and uh, you know, it took less of a time for you to play this time. 
but uh, it's not it's not an eternal one and uh, it also revels into what I was talking about earlier that the game respects your time and it's cool because if you have like half an hour you can just jump into the game play it and have fun uh, do some uh, like you know uh, what's the word oh I just want to say too quickly uh, do some progress and uh, then go and do your other stuff you know go back to work uh, whatever if you for example play in the lunch break or, or do your other stuff that you that you should be doing and you know it's not uh, like something that I don't like about like last epoch that I can play tons and tons an hour tons of hour as uh, you know continuously but sometimes you know it's feel like that e I should you know just really quit quit the game because I do have other other stuff to do but uh, okay just one more one more map just you know one more boss one more level one more something and it's pretty great that uh, this game just gives you the opportunity that okay you have half an hour the runs are maximum half an hour so you can calculate with this And you know, I do still understand that many people says that, uh, and of course, you know, beside the memes that like, okay, I'm a fa I'm a father with four children. I play like uh, one minute a day, but I still enjoy the game. Ten out of ten stuff, of course, clear criticism and sarcasm and cynicism and whatever. Uh, jokes aside, if you are casual, you play the game for the story or whatever. Cool. But with those changes, it seems like that the Eternal Realm of uh, when when you don't play Seasons in the Devil 4 is just going to get like uh, lesser and lesser good and uh, they will not include new stuff, they, they take away stuff and uh, the people who's playing uh, tend to play on with one character for many many, I don't know, occasions because they don't have the time the willingness to reroll every season or whatever, they won't get the new stuff. And uh, of course, you can say that the game uh, contains, uh, you know, a lot of content by default. But that's not the truest sentence of all times. So I highly recommend it if you like ARPGs. Just pick another one, because. I don't try to, you know, spoil the business for anyone, but you know that Ice Rain does not need more players because they are really well off. Uh, with, the, you know, the Microsoft acquisition, it's going to be... Someone says it's going to be better. I don't think so. It's not going to be better. Uh, it's just, you know, one, one more stuff that uh, reassured me that I am never going to play anything from them ever because they just they just basically put gaming and gameplay game you know gameplay first as they say they basically put gameplay to the second or the third even to the fourth place of their priority list and uh, thank you very much I really don't want to engage with anything like this you know, as a game tester, as a, you know, TTRPG uh, game designer or any other stuff or whatever I like to call myself. When someone puts profit, and I know profit is uh, what that, uh, you know, keeps uh, the companies afloat and they can do more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. But when profit is your only main goal and... Uh, you just you just basically put everything behind profit and you incentivize every type of you know uh, practices to make profits even to manipulate gaslight uh, even to screw up people well that's not something I'd like to be part being a part of so as they say you know vote with your money you put your money where your mouth is well I do I do uh, you know I do agree with this even if I buy less uh, less uh, you know expensive titles 
And I do not buy less expensive titles because I could not buy more expensive ones. I just don't want to do it because, you know, everyone says that gaming is uh, in a really shitty place right now. And I would say that's not true. I would say the, the so-called AAA gaming, the AAA industry is in a pretty shitty state. But in on the other hand, the indie ones, the, the game developers who make games because they love making games and they want to give people pretty good time. Indie gaming has never been this big and never been this strong and it's just really great that you know I'm not a vengeful person I don't like to see when people getting screwed because because they're they're getting screwed I don't like the backlash I don't like the you know whatever but when you see that for example, Party A, which, uh, you know, resembles the AAA gaming of uh, the pinnacle of uh, the gaming, uh, I don't know, experience, as they say. Uh, they just get, you know, more and more backlash because of their predatory nature, their idiotic uh, decisions, the money, 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 above everything else, uh, type of, like, mindset. And thanks to that, more and more people are going to pick up indie indie titles that being crafted by people with love, with care, with uh, every other stuff. I just, you know, I just cannot, I just cannot not feel great. Because, you know, eventually you will get what you give. As they say, I am not a superstitious person. I don't believe in any types of gods. I don't believe in, I don't know what. But, you know, action, reaction. This is how it works. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, we just have to focus because otherwise we won't be able to complete the level. And, you know, it, it was really great to see that, for example... No! For example, I died. Damn it. See? I did too much on... Uh, on, uh, on icy rain and I was not able to focus and the main boss just killed me oh boy well I think that you know showcased how the cleric works how well the cleric works so you know just let's stop the rambling about this and uh, get that uh, blood soaked t-shirt and equip it uh, so the good thing is when you see like big big creators like Asmond or I don't know, whatever, whoever uh, plays a game like Halls of Torment and thanks to that many people uh, are going to pick up, let's increase the movement speed, pick up the title and going to enjoy it and uh, they can see that what's the difference between uh, predatorily made AAA so-called games and games that were made with love and care and uh, passionate people and I am not, you know, delusional that uh, many of the, many of people are going to pick up my uh, pick up games that I play based on my recommendation. But eventually, when the channel gets bigger, I would say I will have like a little influence on some of the people who will say, "Oh, that dude liked the game. Looks great. I'm going to try it out." And if someone does that, well, I reach my goal, and you know, it just will going to you know differ between the amount of uh, people who's going to be convinced by my gameplays but that's not the ultimate goal the ultimate goal is to showcase games that i like i enjoy and you know make videos out about it and when someone has a great time watching this video well everything's going to be great so thank you very much for joining that was holes of torment the clerics uh, you know showcasing with the radiant aura and the attack speed and the cone speed increasing as you can see that we basically erased the whole map I screwed up the main boss because, you know, I was just really, really invested in dissing on uh, the Devil 4 and Ice Serene. That was a dissy video. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, really frequent on the channel. I just wanted to showcase because the thing is that, you know, playing Halls of Torment uh, at this time when, you know, the season 1 just started and everybody was like, oh, okay. Let's just install Halls of Torment. How about this? 
and uh, yeah maybe some of you will pick it up pick up the game and enjoy it just you know as much as i do so thank you much for joining it was a blast uh I found another really cool horde survival game, which kind of similar to the POE skill tree that it has. So I'm going to showcase it really soon, and we're going to continue the last epoch, you know, story hardcore gameplay. Thank you very much. Like the video, please subscribe if you dig the channel. There's a coffee page in the description. Help me out if you have the means or the you know the willingness. And see you really soon. In uh, other cool indie games that uh, wasn't made predatorily. See you.